Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Argentina is taking significant steps to modernize its tank fleet through the ambitious TAM 2C A2 program in collaboration with the Israeli company Elbit Systems. This initiative aims to upgrade 74 tanks over the next five years, with a potential extension for an additional 30 units, potentially bringing the total to over 100 modernized tanks within the projected timeframe. The Army's Arsenal Directorate has successfully completed the product engineering phase and is currently focusing on process engineering, pre-series production, and testing. This follows the successful evaluation of the prototype's technical and operational performance. As of now, two TAM 2CA2 tanks have been completed and evaluated, with three more expected to be added in the coming months. These initial units have also facilitated the training of instructors at the 602nd Arsenal Battalion, where training on the new engine is being conducted. The TAM 2CA2 tanks incorporate state of the art technology, including the Commander Open Architecture Panoramic Site, COPES, used on Merkava tanks and Dutch CV 90S. The key enhancements include Sophisticated fire control system, enhances targeting and accuracy. Optical site with rangefinder and ballistic computer, provides improved targeting capabilities. Air filtration devices and fire suppression system, enhances crew safety and tank survivability. Battle management system paired with smoke grenades, improves situational awareness and defense mechanisms. Elbit ELA's laser warning systems, replaces the older threat detection systems, TDS, for better threat detection and response. Work on the TAM 2C A2 also involves the addition of a new auxiliary power unit, APU, and new panels, primarily carried out by the Argentine company IMPSA. According to report number 139 from the Office of the Chief of Cabinet of Ministers to the National Congress, the product engineering phase is complete, and the project is now in the phases of process engineering and preliminary testing. The TAM 2C A2 is armed with a main 105mm gun, a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun, and a 7.62mm machine gun mounted on the roof. It is designed for a crew of four and features armor capable of withstanding small arms fire, shell splinters, and armor piercing ammunition up to 20mm, weighing 30,000 kg. The TAM 2C A2 can reach speeds of up to 75km per hour and has a range of 940km. Despite initial delays in the project, where only two tanks had been delivered in 13 years, significant progress has been made recently. Former Argentine Army Deputy Chief General Diego López Blanco stated that the TAM will be the most modern tank in the region. This modernization comes at a critical time as neighboring Chile also undertakes the modernization of its Leopard tank fleet with the help of Turkish industrialists, signaling a regional arms race in armored capabilities. According to report number 139, regarding the progress of the TAM 2C A2 project, to date, the product engineering stage has been completely concluded and work is underway on process engineering and the pre-series stage and tests, which began once the prototype was evaluated for its technical operational performance. Currently, two tanks have been completed and evaluated, with the forecast to add three tanks in the coming months. It is worth noting that this project began in 2010 and in the last 13 years, only two completed vehicles had been delivered. This year, more combat vehicles will be received than those delivered since the beginning of the project. The continued modernization of the TAM fleet signifies Argentina's commitment to enhancing its armored capabilities and maintaining a competitive edge in regional defense. As the TAM 2C A2 project progresses, it marks a pivotal step towards achieving a modern and formidable armored force. That's all for now. See you later.